Hey, it's Sheree Beasley, and I'm going to show you how to set up your first parties in Consultants Corner, Facebook, and Post My Party, and how to link them all together. So I know that this training so far has been very overwhelming, but I just encourage you to continue to take it step by step. Don't try to understand everything right now. Really just take each step, follow exactly what we tell you to do, and then you'll see how it all comes together. The first week's the hardest, so hang in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and um, let you guys see what's going on. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to have three tabs open on your page. You want to have, I'm gonna type this one down. You want to have Facebook, Consultants Corner, Post My Party. I'm gonna turn this way so that I'm not like looking away from you guys. Okay. So I'm doing this on two screens, guys. So that's why if it looks a little funny, that's what's going on. Okay. So what you're gonna do is when you get your email and you create your template, your template's gonna automatically load into this section. So this is where you're going to find your template. Okay. So step one is to create your show and post my party if you have not already. You're gonna sit and click virtual Facebook. If it is a fundraiser or a wedding shower, you're going to do that, but typically it's not. You're going to create the date. All of our shows start on Saturday currently. If you have other directions in the information packet that you have, follow the directions because um, we do change things from time to time depending on what's going on. So for this demo, I'm going to show you that we're starting it on Saturday. If your paperwork says differently, follow your paperwork. I unclick this where it says display party address and host phone number if I'm doing a virtual show because it's really none of anybody's business um, what their address is. So I am going to find my host. She happened to be a guest on a previous party, so all her information was in here. So you're going to fill all this out. And then here is automatically going to populate a party page link. This is where people will click to order. So you, this link is very important. So you're going to click create party. Now you have the party created. Now it's time to create where the party is going to happen, which is in the Facebook group. So you're going to come back to your business page. Here's my business page. And you're going to click on groups over here on the side. And then it's going to populate a button over here called create group. You'll click create group. You're going to change the name to her name, Christy. And she has a really crazy last name. So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm just gonna copy it. Copy, paste. And then right now you see it says add some people. I'm only putting myself in there right now, okay? So I'm gonna make it private and then hit create. Okay, now I'm gonna upload a photo. There's a photo. Um, in the email that you got for Party Prep 101, or it's in the Party Prep files, or in the units on our team page. If you haven't watched the orientation video for our team page, that will give you all the information about where all of these things are. So I'm going to continue here now, and I have mine usually in quick access. Maybe it's just in downloads. So I'll find it real quick. I'm getting warmer. Actually, okay, now it's going to be in quick access. There we go. Um, so then I'm going to click save. And I use the same one for each party, I don't change them. So now this is all set up. Now I can um, go in here and I'm gonna click edit group settings. This is really, really important. So for the description, if you were looking at your virtual party setup, daily tasks and host coaching messages information, you'll see it says announcement post wording, edit details, etc. So you're just gonna copy that then you're gonna paste it right here, okay? You're gonna change host to Christy. 
And then remember that link that we just created? Well, there's a link right here. So we're going to go back over here. And then we're going to click links. And then we're going to click the party page. So we're going to click share, copy link, go back to the Facebook, and then post, paste that right there. You read back through here, make sure that this date is correct. It's going to be Friday, June 26. Um, and then for me, your card is charged when you submit your order. So I'm different. Yours is going to say your card is charged when the party is submitted. So don't look at a lot of the details. So go down here, you're going to click save. You're going to scroll back up and you're going to click add apps. And this usually takes a minute or so, as you can see. It's actually only a few seconds, but 30 seconds or so. And sometimes if you have a lot open, it'll take just a couple of minutes. So it's okay. Just be patient. Try not to click into anything else. Hody, hody, hum. So it's tempting when this is happening to go and do other things. I encourage you that when you're setting up your shows that you do not multitask because you're setting up things that are really particular. And if you miss one little thing, it can throw everything off and then it's really hard to find. So it's important to just be patient and just wait and it will all come through just fine. So then you're going to just type post my part. You can just post post my and then you want post my party. And then you're going to add that. You're going to click done. And then you're going to scroll back to the bottom and click save. Okay. You do not want to change any of these things. Leave all of this down here by alone because that means that anybody can add anybody to the group, which is what you want. So then you're going to come back up here to discussion. You're going to actually, I take that back. You're going to stay in edit group settings and then you're going to open this up. Oh, I need to take out Sheree's words, don't I? You're going to take this whole thing, copy it. Then you're going to click this up here. And if you click add description, you're going to paste all this information here. So ideally when someone clicks on the picture, they'll be able to see this. And then that's another place that they can find the link to order. Go back to discussion. And then you're going to click here. Now this is really important and this is a new thing that Facebook has just come out with. So you're going to click interacting at Sheree's kitchen and you're going to see it says choose how to interact with this group. Sheree Beasley join group. So you do want to join group by yourself as a human. It's going to allow you to join the group. And if you look over here, it says interacting as yourself. So now we're going to toggle back to interacting as my business page. And then we're going to click on members. We're going to look at the members here and we're going to make your human self an admin as well. Then you're going to toggle back to your profile. And you'll see here at the top, it says Sheree's Kitchen Pamper Chef Consultant invited you to become an admin of the group, accept admin responsibilities. Great. Now your um, Facebook group where you're going to have your party is set up and then everything is linked. Oh, I see an error. I just put Christy Rasbisness and I need to edit this to say virtual pampered chef party. So virtual pampered chef party. And then leave it as general and then scroll down here at the bottom and click save. Okay. So that is all taken care of. Now, go ahead and click back to interacting. Make sure you're interacting as your business page. And then you're going to click here to get you a clean link. Now we're gonna to go to post my party templates. You're gonna click parties, schedule new. 
and then you're going to choose a template. So this is June when I'm recording this video. And I'm going to use this template right here. Then I'm going to click business page group. Now, If you're an admin for other business pages that are other groups, it's totally fine. You're just going to select the one that you want to use. So I'm going to use this one and then I'm going to find her party, which is weird because Okay, so there's that. I'm going to start it on Saturday. This right here is where you're going to put your host name, Christy. And then her party link, party page link from pamperedchef.com. Oh, look, it's still up. So I'm just going to click copy link and go back here and then paste. And then I'm going to create the show. Okay, so there you go. So the next thing that you want to check is the content rating. If you see a green check mark, you're totally fine. If you see an exclamation point, that means it'll probably post, but you might want to change some things. So let's go in here and I'll show you just real quick how subtle it has to be to change things. So you can just do this and then hit update. And that can usually be enough of a change. So all that I did was I hit the enter key and look, it's totally green. Sometimes that's all it takes. Facebook is really persistent about making sure that the content is um, authentic and original. And so that is why you have to do that. So if people use your words too much, you'll get codes like this. Okay. So let's go ahead and set up another party because we usually do four at a time. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to schedule two. And then the third and the fourth one are exactly the same after that. So you're going to still choose your same template, June. And then you're going to, you're normally going to choose business page group. Oh, actually I can go ahead and do this. So business page group, and then I'm going to do it with this one. And then the 20th and then my host is Sheree cause this is just a demo. And then you, again, you'll come back over here. You'll copy the link from the next person's party. So, you don't want to copy the same link. You want to go to the next person's party. Okay. So we'll use Penny King for this example. Share, copy link, go back to post my party, paste, create. So if you look, it's got a warning. It says that there's an exact duplicate post scheduled at the exact same time as another party. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way down here and click the button that says no adjustment. And you want to adjust it by however long you want to adjust it. 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour, doesn't matter. So I'm just going to select 30 minutes. I'm going to click update and boom, it's all taken care of. Okay. So now this one's going to start posting at 735. If you go to the list, Christie's is going to start posting at 805. So it took care of that little glitch all by itself. And that's how you do party setup, start to finish. Now it's time for you to get out your um, daily host coaching and follow the next step. The next step is to invite your host. Typically most hosts haven't joined. So let me get the right document actually. I'm gonna get the document that you guys use. So there's an Evernote link that we have listed for this. And this makes it easy for us to be able to edit things. Um, there's a document key at the top. The black text is directions for you. The pink text is directions for your host that you're going to copy and paste to them. The dark blue text is what the host will post. So you're going to copy that text and send that to them as well. And then the orange text or, or text you post. Okay. So you can see it goes through here and it's all color coded for you. So let's start with day one. We start um, setting up our parties on Wednesday before the Saturday they start. You can see here it says announcement post wording, edit details, description for the group. You've already seen me do this. The next thing is we're going to send this message to the host so that they can join the party. You will get a notification when they do and I will and you'll approve them. Then you'll be able to invite their friend. They'll be able to invite their friends. You do not have to friend them in order to do this. You might not want to friend your host. That's okay. 
So you're going to copy all of this up to where it says, here's the link to your party group. Then you're going to insert the link for the party group in this section right here that has the parentheses. So you're actually going to copy this and then I'm going to send this directly to my host. So I'm going to open Messenger in another tab. Oh, maybe I'm not. Hang on. So to open Messenger in another tab, I go here, I click on See All in Messenger, and then I right click there, open in a new tab. So, so Christy right here, um, I'm just going to paste this wording. And then I want to get a clean link. So I'm going to come back to Facebook and then I'm going to look at my browser up here and make sure that it just ends in numbers. I'm going to copy this link and then I'm going to send it to her in Messenger. As soon as she joins the party, I will get a notification saying that she's joined and then she will be able to invite. But I've just told her in here, it says, hi there, your party group is all set up. Click the link to join. I will approve you and then you can start adding friends to send them an invitation. Our goal is to have about 30 to 40 people join the party. To start, you'll want to add 100 to 150 people from your friends list to the group. Don't prejudge. Everyone eats, LOL, blah, blah, blah. Okay, do not change this wording, use this exact wording and send this to them. They will click the group. You will get a Facebook notification up here. You'll also get a notification here in the group that someone wants to join. So once you have sent that and you've got your party set up, just walk away. It is okay if they, you're not sitting right there when they're ready to add their people, okay? You can go ahead and just let them do it, okay? If you happen to already be friends with them and you're fine with it, there is another way. You can click here and then go back to interacting as yourself. And then right here where it says invite members, you can invite them. So she should show up in my friends list and then I add her there, okay? So you can only add a friend to the group if you are interacting as yourself. If you are interacting as Sheree's Kitchen Pamper Chef Consultant or whatever you named your page, you'll see over here if I type in Christy, she's not gonna just automatically pull up, okay? So that is the long and the short of setting up your Facebook shows. At this point, everything is ready to go and it's time for you just to follow, continue to follow the virtual party setup daily tasks and host coaching messages and just do what it says each and every single day. Okay, so if you follow the sheet and follow each task, you should be totally fine. But I wanted to make this video too because sometimes it's a little easier to see things. So I hope this helps as a nice companion and we are so excited to have you as part of the team and cannot wait to celebrate your success. Thanks for watching and I can't wait to talk to you again soon.